Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today we're going to make these cute favor bags using the coffee tin ties and mini clothes pins from our sponsor, Paper Mart. You can find them online at www.papermart.com. I'm also using some die cuts and stamps by Stampendous, but you can use whatever you have. I'm using some colored pencils to add a little bit of shading and um, just your basic stamping supplies. So the first thing we're going to do is make the topper for our tin tie bag here. And what I'm doing is just, you can use regular cardstock. I had some kind of textured paper, like uh, kind of it printed, but it kind of looks like it has some texture to it. And I thought that was kind of pretty. And I've also got this scrap of green that I die cut with this grass edge. So what I'm gonna do is fold this, not quite in half, I'm leaving about three quarters of an inch of, um, of gap there and or offset. And then I am going to, um, Put that right on top. I'm going to tear the excess off and I'm going to adhere it with a little bit of ATG adhesive. You could use whatever double sided tape you have, doesn't really matter. Actually, I don't know if I want it that far down. I think it might stick to my, stick to my base. Okay. And then I think I will trim that off just because I don't want to have um, I don't want to have sticky stuff on my die cut machine, but basically I'm just kind of adding these together so that I can die cut them together. So what I'm going to do here is use this label die to die cut out this, um, this topper. And since I folded it and I have the cutting edge past the fold, it's going to make a great little topper. Now, if you don't have a label like this, you can use any of your nested shape dies, or you can trace a stencil and cut it out by hand, and then you'll have a top folded little topper. So I'm going to go to the die cutter and do this, and I'll be right back. And this is what you end up with. I just wanted to show you the, the waste in case it, in case you were at all confused about how it cut the paper. So you get this little top fold piece like this. So if you were doing like a ton of these, you might actually want to um, adhere big strips and go through and just cut them all at once. But definitely a very quick and easy thing to do. If you don't have um, a die cut, you could use fringe scissors or any decorative edge scissors you want for the grass and it will still look like grass. Please feel free to use what you have. Now um, I stamped a pumpkin face here and um, and honestly you can sketch a circle you can use any pumpkin stamp you have and then to give it a little bit of um, interest I decided to use some colored pencils and again I used a patterned paper just because I for one I had a bunch of it and I always collect pattern paper a lot quicker than I use it and uh, then I'm just using some colored pencils to add a little bit of shading you can use chalk however um, since these are favor bags and they're going to be handled I think colored pencils is a better idea you know it's not going to get smudged and get all over you know kids hands when they you know, go trick-or-treating and stuff so I'd rather have my art supplies stay on my surface you can take as much or as little time as you want um, to color in your jack-o'-lantern face and you know if you've been stamping for any amount of time you probably have lots of jack-o'-lantern stamps but these are from Stampendous if you don't and you're looking for um, for these particular ones and by stamping on the orange I and color pencils are opaque I can go in and color the yellow you know as if the uh, the pumpkins lit from the inside and then I just I cut that out with a circle die and I have one I've already cut right here and I did the same thing with the witch's hat and I colored it teal because there is something now called the teal pumpkin project and basically if you paint a pumpkin teal and put it on your porch what you're doing is you're you're saying to um to people that you have treats in your house that are um for kids with food allergies so I thought that was a great idea I love Halloween and I love um for everyone to enjoy it that wants to so when I heard about the teal pumpkin project I thought that was um that was a really really good idea and I just wanted to let you guys know about it plus teal is really popular this year and I was afraid that people might be painting their pumpkins teal anyway so they might want to have a couple treats on hand that you know are more like maybe little puzzles or games or something like that it's not necessarily like a, a food trick-or-treat items just as a, a nice treat not like a like a food thing like coloring little mini coloring books or um, little crayon packets erasers puzzles little fun things like that and you can find those at the Dollar Tree and they're not crazy expensive or any dollar store department store and I'm just adhering that down there now I want to make this um, you know make the the ground stand out a little bit more oh and on the pumpkin I used a couple different shades of teal to just kind of accent it I am just going to go in with my colored pencil and I'm going to give it a little shading under the grass here now you could add like um, 
you could add bats, you could add, you know, a paper moon, you could add stars, you can add whatever you want to your um, scene here. It's completely up to you. In fact, a couple of bats would look really cute. I wish I had some right out here. Actually, look at this. I just realized I have the stamp already on my stamp mount and look at that, there are bats in it. So I'm gonna show you how to just stamp the bats. Oh, look at that, a surprise technique. I love surprise techniques. So I'm gonna grab a marker, a water-based marker. And I've got a black Tombow marker here. And since I'm working on paper, this is going to dry just fine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just color the portion of the rubber that is what I want to stamp. So if you look at your stamp collection and you have stamps that maybe are like collage stamps or they have a bunch of different images in them, just use a marker and it can be like your kids Crayola markers ink up the portion that you want to stamp and then just stamp that now when you do this the marker ink is going to dry a little quicker than regular stamping ink so what you want to do is breathe on the stamp and then that's going to moisten the ink and then you can just stamp it down there we go and now we have bats in our uh, in our background what i was going to do look at this i completely forgot but i'll show you on the other one i was going to stamp this little this little vine with leaves coming off my pumpkin but i needed to do that before i adhered the hat and i completely completely had a brain cramp there but that's all right now for the um for the sentiment i decided i would put witching you a happy halloween since this pumpkin has a has a witch hat on so i'm going to use my black archival ink for that because i have it right here i could use the marker if i wanted to you know either way i just think this ink is a little bit darker and will show up a little bit more and i'm just going to stamp that try to keep it pretty straight and i always give it just a second for it to transfer and there we go. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and we're gonna, I'm just gonna show you how the little tin tie bags work. Now you can make these ahead of time. I probably wouldn't bother folding these up at, at this point if you're not ready to fill them, but you just open them up and these actually are waxed on the inside. So if you do like to make treats, then you can um, you can put homemade treats in here. These are food safe and they are waxed. So they will, you know, prevent grease from, from leaking. If you make cookies or, you know, donuts or something like that. I had a um, an aunt who always made donuts at Halloween so you know anything like that would would be acceptable and then you just want to roll it down until you get to the point where you're you know you're filling up your trees and these are originally meant for coffee um, and then you just fold back the little tabs and that is how you put the bags together pretty easy and then what I would do is just put this right on top all right but I like to have things removable because um, I know people sometimes like to save you know the packaging for like bookmarks or keepsakes and then we're simply going to use this cute little um, clothespin I keep wanting to say paper clip clothespin from paper mart to clip it at the top and uh, these come in wood and plastic and um, you can stain them paint them or do whatever you like so there's just a couple little ideas for quick and easy treat bags and um, I just wanted to let you know about the teal pumpkin project because that way you can have some treats on hand that are non food based so that even kids with food allergies can enjoy Halloween this year I want to thank you so much for watching please check out our sponsor paper mart at www.papermart Dot com where we make you look even better. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.